your boy Mr. Gardner, baby, and I'm back again with another eye opening video. But hey, I'm here with Natural Ghana Girl. I mean, natural, are you Team Natural or Team? Of course, Team Natural all the time, every day, uh, all day. All day. All day, every day. She yeah. has been running away from me for the past two years. When you talk about Ghana content creators for Diaspora, I think she's the first person that started. <laughs> you. The only way is Ghana. Uh -huh. Shout out to the only way is Ghana. And there's another girl. Yes, I am, I am Hamat. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I reached out to her in 2018 and she never responded to me to 2020. No, tell the story properly. <laughs> You're lying. He's lying. It's not like that. It's not like no, no, that. Did I reach out to you in 2018? You, hold on. You, you reached out to me. Thank you. And then I didn't see the message because I wasn't very social because I was heavily pregnant at the okay. time. But I got back to you a month later. A month later. And then he ghosted I, I, I me. I didn't see it. He didn't. ghosted me completely. So, when I wanted to start the Project Africa to the World, mm. I was trying to uh, bring all African content creators together to preach about Africa. Yeah. So I saw your video. I saw. I was just researching about Ghana content creators. I saw your video. Mm. Your video popped up. Then I sent you a message. The same message I copy and pasted <laughs> to um, the US Ghana. Yeah. I copy and pasted the same message to. I am Hamas. Hamas. Yes. And I think the only way is Ghana re replied in 2019. Okay, yeah, see, so I was better. Huh? <laughs> no, it's not true. Anyway, tell them, they don't know you. What's your name and where are you from? Okay, so my, my real name is Della, but I go by Natural Ghana Girl. Um, I was born and raised in the UK, mm. but now we live here in Ghana. We've been here for six years and we absolutely love it. I love counting. it. And counting. Hey, six years and counting. And counting. No, you, you, you just introduced yourself, but I've seen a gentleman. Yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. I'm my buddy. I'm a husband, for me. Husband. You were based in the UK. Both yeah. of us, yeah, based in the yeah. UK. Yeah. Born and raised in the UK? Well, I left when I was six. So you left uh, Ghana when you were six? Yeah. What about you? No, I was born in the UK. That's all, all I've known is the UK. Yeah. Except for the odd few holidays in between. When I was younger, that's and it. And I just want to know, I mean, UK is a paradise to so many Africans. UK is a place that, listen, I, I, I don't know why any time I say this, people are like, oh. No. You know, um, did, you, did you watch the video I did with Monkey and E? Yes. Even the comment yeah. from Ghana, I mean, people that were commenting on the video are like, mm -hmm. ah, stupid girl, give us your passport. Yeah. And we'll go to UK and leave yeah. for you. <laughs> So they just, have no idea, absolutely no idea. Tell me, Anyone I, that says that um, the UK is blissful, I know you've never been there before. I can tell straight away. It's not true. Mm. It, the UK is there. It, I'm the, I mean, I would never diss the UK. I'm not saying that. And I'd never cut my ties with it. But if you want to live real life, real good enjoyment life, it's Ghana. Yeah, you, Definitely. You, 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 you Definitely. hustle a bit, yeah. but once you get into it and you make it, Sky's the limit, this goes yeah. way, way over. So and I, I think as well, in the, in the UK, what happens is that you end up in this rat race, so yeah, you're continuously big having time. to work for big money, time, work for time, money. When you were there, you worked um, six days a week. Yeah. Six and days a week. How can you live, like, from morning, like, you leave home at, like, five in the morning. In the morning I wouldn't see him till night, seven yeah. in the evening. That's not building, living. Building, building houses. That's, that's not living, well, that's what? That's, that's, that's like torture. It's called the rap It's race. torture. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the rap <laughs> No, but let, let me know. Let me know. You lived in the UK Grabbing and the you cheese. decided to let everything go and return to Ghana. Yeah. Why? It wasn't easy. Kwame, well, it was your idea first, wasn't it? We yeah. actually came, like I said. That was the first time I came out. Let me just explain. Yeah, yeah, you go for this, it. This, um, we was on, uh, I would say, a honeymoon kind of when we was um, oh, wow. married. Yeah, so I came here. I've never been to Ghana for a very long time. Like, I was raised here when I was six. Um, and I've been almost 34 years of my life in the UK. Um, so when I came, I was very surprised. I said, hey, that was, that was in 2007. Yeah. We came as a family, family on holiday. holiday. Yeah. And I thought, wow, is this how Ghana is? So that's what kind of made us even prompt to even come back here. You, you're saying, no, is this how Ghana is? What were you No, expecting? because you know, you know sometimes you have these African parents <laughs> who will say, if you're in trouble or you get in trouble, mm. I will ship you to Africa. So yeah. when you hear things, especially when you hear things on Africa, you have that mindset of is it famine, drought, people are malnourished, mm. everybody's dying. Yeah. Uh, that was my perception. I'm not saying it's like that, but that's what I was in. So especially when you're in school, they don't teach you much about black history and history in itself. So when I came out, I was very shocked wow. to see that, wait yeah. a second, look at the airports. Wait a second, there are fat people like myself. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I was, I was shocked. 
So it really surprised me. I said, nah, nah, this place is amazing. You know, even though, like I said, the infrastructures may not be there and all that, but it's really amazing. There's a, there's, I don't know what it is. There's a peace. There's a freedom. There's no one looking over That was his experience. That was yeah, not my was experience. Not what was your experience? No. no. It was nice to come on holiday. It's nice to come back on holiday. But you've been there all the time. You come yeah, but now. I was like, yeah, yeah. when he said, let's come to Ghana to live, I was like, are you, are you crazy? What am I coming to do inside this country here? Yeah. I was a bit of a snob. I'll, 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 I'll take that. I'll take Ooh. that. Yeah, I was a bit of a snob. Yeah, I said I'm not coming to live in Ghana. I haven't even had my children yet. I'm not going to go to any hospital in Ghana. What am I going to do there? I said, no way. Absolutely not. I said, no. What, what made you change your mind? Yeah. <laughs> I think over time, um, I don't know, something just kind of switched in me. And then at the time, one of my children got sick. Yeah. And then I was looking for something different. And the more I started to research into things, I thought about the health and the types of food that we were eating and that kind of thing. And I just, I felt, so, I just felt that we needed something more. And so Ghana then, something was birthed inside me. And we, we, started, we started slowly telling people, oh, we're thinking about going to live in Ghana. And people were like, you can't. They yeah. say, you can't. No way. They said, you, I'll give you six months yeah. to be back. Who are the people that were telling you this? Friends, family, everybody. Are they Africans? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. ones who have been here and they've, they've, um, they've relocated. You know what it is? I think UK, when you get there, there's a system of because things are done, infrastructure is done, you've got free schooling, um, the, the healthcare is fantastic. So you get kind of comfortable. No, but don't you think, think the, it was yeah. the, the people that were saying you can't make it there or it's not, Ghana's not good. I they think are the ones that have lived here from the beginning and true, then later true, moved to the true, UK. Yeah. They're not those of us that like want something new like we haven't had that experience of ghana yeah the new generation yeah. with mm. those of us that are the new generation we're the ones that are coming back but those that were born here and went to the uk they're not really interested they're not interested and um i just want to know few, yeah. how was the transition oh gosh because six years ago oh. i knew that definitely there were not too much information yeah today. yeah no how there the wasn't oh no I, I spent a few nights crying here <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was, that was a, I definitely yeah, cried. That was a wilderness okay. moment, man. Honestly, the desert Honestly. moment <laughs> where everything seemed Listen, to be Listen, yeah. there, there was one day. Yeah. Do you remember? Because we were staying with my dad at the time, and there was this one day. It was the middle of the night, and then light off. Light off. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we were all sharing a room at the time, yeah. and it was hot. I yeah. said, Kwame, can you help me? My, my, my third born, he was a bit young at the time. Yeah. yeah, he was a bit young, and I said, Can you help me with him? Um, can you just hold him for me? He said, No. I'm not helping him. So I'm going upstairs to sleep with the mosquitoes. Yeah. So I'd rather get bitten upstairs <laughs> than to stay in this heat. I was sweating, you know. I was Because I was honestly. transitioning from, you know, you know, you know when Ghana, they'll say, you, hey, just, this one, your ice block. Oh, ice yeah. block. <laughs> so like, the water is still inside <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> we hadn't so, acclimatized. So me, I was acclimatized. I was sweating. Yeah. But anybody even touches me. I'm just like, <laughs> it's like, man, being in the shower. Yeah. You know, so it's like, no, no, no. Yeah. So it, 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 was, it wasn't easy. But, you know, like I said, after a while, mm. you really get was, to know. Even a, what was it, a, a couple of years ago, when we went back to the UK. I was shocked how cold I was. Mm. You know, because you know you've been in that country for so long, you got used to it. Being in a hot country and then you go back, you realize yourself, damn, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting cold here, man. It's really, really freezing. Yeah. So wow. it, it's, it's, it's really, it's really but interesting. But no, the transition period was was not easy it at was, all. Yeah, yeah, really. I, 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 find, I feel like the children probably handled it better than we did, actually, yeah, which was did. surprising. I thought yeah. I wasn't sure how they would take it, mm. especially in terms of the types of food that we were used to eating and now you can't get like yogurts and stuff were very hard to get here or they were very expensive at the time That's we couldn't right. afford all that kind of stuff so but they actually fitted in easy they were happy they were running around barefoot outside and doing easy all that me, well, me i was like oh my yeah. gosh i'm suffering i can't get this to eat i can't get that to eat i was really struggling we struggled didn't we we yeah. struggled and I, mean, I don't know about you but i didn't okay i i, I did I, I, I was accustomed I'm cool, no I, i'm gonna like embarrass you i'm gonna embarrass i'm gonna embarrass him now. Uh, uh, uh. You know the first time we came and this guy ate banku. Yeah. Uh, he, he, used, he used a knife and fork, spoon and all that. Cut the meat to go and eat it. Can you imagine? I was just looking at you like, this guy. I know all of you are enjoying this. Hey, you have a YouTube channel, yeah? I do, I do. The name is? Natural Ghana Girl. <laughs> The link will be in the description. Please yeah. click on it, subscribe, support the <laughs> channel. Let's Please. continue the yeah. conversation. Yeah? yeah. Right now you're building a house. Mm -hmm. in yes, we which are. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, I'm so proud of both of you. Oh, appreciate that. Thank man. you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really beautiful. But I just wanted to know somebody mm. who is moving to Ghana for the first time, do you think the person needs to buy a house or maybe build a house by himself? I think um, building is more cheaper. 
definitely than buying and um, you've also got when you're building you've what you, you can choose what you want to kind of put in and um, you could also check the quality but if you're like someone who don't know building it's always better to try to get someone who's an expert um, like a contractor or maybe a project manager to check over stuff mm. but it's far it's far cheaper Oh, far cheaper to build I think even aside from even the yeah. cheaper thing I think the fact is that you can build what you want here we're yeah. so used to buying a house and you make do with what you've got oh, you try and make the rooms work yeah. but if you build you have exactly what you want that will mm. work for your family because every family is different you might want a big living area and so I think mm. building you get to have all of that and fit it in how you want yeah. over buying yeah that's interesting I just want to know is it expensive or cheaper to live in Ghana I think it depends on the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. If you don't like going to the market, um, if you don't like local foods, then yes, things can get expensive because, you know, you can buy potatoes here and you can cook all the British foods or the American foods that you want. It can definitely get expensive. But if you're willing to compromise and you don't mind eating local sometimes, then it, things can be cheaper. It, a lot of it depends on your lifestyle, what kind of person you are. Mm. So it, it's up to you. We're, we're not very lavish. We don't go to lots of posh restaurants. We don't do that many things because of what we're, where our focus is at the moment, which is on the building. Mm. But I think... If you come here and you're not in holiday mode, then Ghana is definitely cheaper in that respect, definitely. And do you think Africa is the future? Absolutely, without a doubt. 100%. And I'm telling you now, if you are planning on coming to Ghana, yeah. don't waste time because nothing here is going to get cheaper, only more expensive. Yep. When we came to Ghana um, in two, 2007, we looked at some land and that land now in East Legon Hills, we cannot afford it. We wish we had bought back then. We cannot My afford wife's it. Also, I wanted to buy it. <laughs> she didn't want it. She said bush. She saw bush. You want to sleep on the couch tonight? I know. Yeah, no. Wow. He, he's very. He. I, I'm a bit more tunnel vision. He. He. He sees things the more of the bigger picture over me, which wow. gives a good, nice, a nice balance. And definitely. you've been in uh, Ghana for the past six years. Yeah. If you have the chance to change anything in Ghana, what would that be? For me. Corruption. Corruption. I, I hate it. I'm not going to go into too much details, yeah. but I, I absolutely hate it. There, there are certain things, like if you're doing a job, you're paid to do that job, why do you want something extra? Mm. That, that mentality, not everybody, like that, not everybody absolutely yeah. not. Not everybody's like that, but there are a few things, and it can frustrate you sometimes mm. when you want to get something like that. And I feel like that slows down certain processes. Mm. But if not for that, Ghana. But like I say, we're still living here, so it can't be that bad. And to be honest, I wouldn't. I would if I could change things. I wouldn't go back. This is mm. this is my home. Absolutely. This is your home. So definitely, you know that there are so many brothers and sisters out there yeah. who have chosen America. I mean, UK. Mm. I mean, Europe as their home. I mean, yeah. they're living in the West right now. Mm -hmm. If you have an advice for people like that, mm. what will it be? Yeah. Okay. Um, have an open mind. Mm. I really feel that I have an open mind. Um. Um, don't don't kind of take on what you hear about Africa. Yeah. And um, just take your time, digest it. Mm. Little by little, you get there. And that's mm. what it is. Just take it small steps. Yeah. Don't come in and think that, you know, I'm from I'm from the West or I'm from a better developed area that I can come and change Africa. No. Yeah. You can't change Africa. You you adapt and you learn with Africa. Mm -hmm. You make you improve, improve things. things. You improve yeah. things. You're not here to change things. You're here yeah. to improve things. Yeah. And everything is day by day. So it take is. your time. Mm. Um, learn to slow down. Yeah. Learn to slow down. That was the hardest thing for us, I think, because yeah. we're learning to slow down. Big time. To stop expecting things to happen so quick. Just so quick, take it yeah. easy because now all the blood pressure is down. You know? <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for talking yeah. to me. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to Natural Girls. Natural Gana Girl, that's uh, right. Natural Gana Girl. How yeah. many subscribers do you have now? Oh gosh, I have it like eight thousand, almost nine. Um, how many do you want? Yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the wow. what's Tell the height me. of the sky? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, go higher than that. Make sure you subscribe and support. Yeah, please All right. do. Thank yeah. you so much for talking right. to Thank me. You. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate. Thank you. Bless up. Yeah. <laughs>